how, why you guys decided to make one, and how you guys landed on that story, and how it all came out to be. Okay, so um, <clears throat> when we realized that the movie was doing well, um, you know, the studio said, okay, let's start talking about a sequel, and, um, you know, the story sort of came to be where Gendy was off doing, um, he was working on development in Popeye, and so um, Adam and Robert Smigel, who wrote the first movie, started tossing around some ideas, and, um, you know, once they sort of formulated an idea for the movie, we all got together and said, okay, let's go with that and then you know we went ahead and wrote the script and the interesting thing is that all started happening I'd say a couple of months after the movie released and then um, probably six eight months later the story completely changed um, and that's just part of the development process that's kind of the way we make movies where we start out with one thing we screen it you know we do all the storyboarding we screen it and then realize well you know maybe we should change this or that you know like movies like this it appeals to you know, a wide audience mm -hmm. Does, does that make it harder, you know, to, yeah. uh, can you talk about that? How, how do you make it appeal to all audiences sure. while keeping it entertained? Okay. So I think, um, you know, the idea of appealing to an audience from age, you know, two to 102 is a, a huge task. Um, you know, you want to appeal to parents, grandparents, kids, teens, tweens, you know, you kind of want to hit every market. And so, you know, we make sure that we build in, build in jokes that appeal to each different part of the audience and um, you know visual fun so I think the visual fun everybody can relate to and then the actual jokes appeal to you know different sectors of the audience but also I think one of the most important things is that it also has a lot of heart and it has a lot of relatability and that um, sort of appeals to everybody so it's it's kind of a layering process of building those things in and care you know characters that people can relate to and love and uh, you have upcoming projects with uh, the director, right, Gendy? Yes. Can we talk about that and why you guys, just, you know, how, how did your uh, partnership actually, actually just Sure. Start? So um, we actually started working together on Hotel Transylvania 1, and um, we had such a great time that, you know, we said, okay, let's do Hotel Transylvania 2 together. And during that time, we were also developing Popeye, um, and we started developing another movie called Can You Imagine? So Can You Imagine is the one that we're actually uh, starting to move forward with and um, really uh, more seriously developing it and starting to work with a writer on that. Oh, so can you talk a little bit more details on it or is it you still know, stuck? I, yeah, it's kind of, it's in the early phases, but you know, it's a project, an original project by Gendy and it's really fun. And um, it's another sort of, you know, comedy with heart that definitely parents and kids um, will definitely embrace and relate to. Um, it's really kind of all I can say about it, but it's a lot of fun. And, you know, we have such a good time working together and we have a great crew that we love working with. And I think that is all part of making a movie and you actually see that on the screen. And just lastly, just a fun question. Um, if you could be any of these monsters in the movie, which one would you be? I think I would probably be Mavis. I think, you know, strong woman. Um, Adventurous. Who's, yeah, she's fun, she's level-headed. Um, I feel like a lot of my sensibilities uh, align with Mavis, and so I think that's probably the character that I would be. Mm -hmm.